Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be clipping some herbs to dry. If you're a new subscriber, thank you so much for following along with the channel. I really appreciate it. And if you're watching this video and you're not yet subscribed, please consider doing so. I would really appreciate that as well. So today we are going to be clipping some herbs. And I seriously got to put some water on some of these plants. Anyway. I have to harvest some, some of these vegetables. I don't know if I'll get to do it today. I'm going to see how far I can get. Because I really need to clip some herbs so I can dry that. Um, it's a very windy day. I'm sure you guys can hear that. It's very loud. But what I'm going to start with first is the herbs. Oh wow, I have a really big hole in the one of my garden beds. Which means... I don't know what animal, but somebody has been digging. Look at that. And they're digging around my flowers. See, I need to, this is arugula. I need to, I need to harvest some of this. Because I want to be able to utilize all my vegetables. And that's why I'm going to harvest or clip some of the herbs today. Because I need to get it dry. During Thanksgiving and Christmas you use more herbs than any other time because most of us are planning um, to cook for the holidays and so you use a lot of herbs and I want to make sure I have some dry that I can use out of my own garden because these herbs are really expensive very very expensive so I'm gonna start I'm gonna put down this camera and just start clipping then I'm going to show you what I harvest and where I'm going to possibly dry it. We'll see. But let's get started on that. So what I should have mentioned is that in a few spaces in my garden, I have a lot of herbs. So I have herbs here. I have thyme and... Um, was this uh not sage um oh the name is not coming to mind right now um but i do have a lot over here then i have some over here <laughs> we got some more time over here i have a lot of sage over there more herbs here is like I put it in different spots in the garden and I just real I didn't just realize it but um, I really do need it to harvest some of this I was using from it you know like to cook and stuff like that um, I whenever I want to cook I just come out and clip what I need and take that inside so I, I would normally use fresh or dry but now that you know it's gonna get you know into the the cooler months i need to take fresh one inside and i need to be able to dry some so the one thing i want to mention is maybe sometime within the week i am gonna pop some of this up i am gonna cut some because there's some more time here there's basil cilantro um i have lavender in this box too but I don't know how well this I don't know how well the lavender is doing because the mint the mint is in a pot I'm gonna show you guys that but the root came out of the pot of course and so the mint is shooting up all over I have strawberries in here and you know I really do have to um, pot some of this stuff up so what I'm gonna do first I'm gonna harvest and if if I have time to pot it up I'm gonna do so if not I'm gonna harvest today and then pot some up another day that's what I'm gonna have to do 
I may have to split it because it's it's in the evening and I'm working with the amount of light I may have left until it it really um, on basically until I lose light so the Sun is going down so so far I'm still good but it depends on how fast I'm able to do this so I'm gonna get started now okay so I was trying to remember the name of this so bad and that's rosemary so I got my little basket right here and I know this basket is way too small so I'm gonna have to empty it and come back so the first one I'm gonna be cutting on here is the rosemary so rosemary is a perennial for us because last year I planted one and it came back and so I believe I might leave one in the garden and take one inside with me because when it's really cold you don't want, I don't want to keep running outside to get um, herbs so yeah I think I'm gonna take one inside and leave one outside but I am cutting some here to dry and I'm not cutting it in no special way I'm just basically cutting a few stems so I can take this in the dry that's it because it seems like no matter how I cut it it's still gonna come back so. I'm hoping that we don't get um, a very harsh uh, winter I'm using my kitchen shears to cut this so this is thyme and thyme is also a perennial for us so this comes back every year but I do use a lot of thyme so I am cutting a lot of this to take in with me Okay, basil is not a perennial, so this is not going to come back, but I'm going to just leave the root in here and I'm going to take this with me.
I got some mint. I was able to cut the mint out of here. There's still a lot of mint in here and a lot more herbs. I do have strawberries in here. And I'm thinking about taking it out and maybe put it in a pot or put it in the garden bed. Um, I have over here, I have some more rosemary. But I didn't clip on that. I just got a little bit of green onions from over there. I got the sage from over here. There's still a lot more sage. Nice fresh sage. And I'm going to leave that alone because I have enough to dry. And then I have a lot of time. A lot more time here. And maybe I'll cut some more, but not today. Um, I don't have to dry all of it today. I can dry some and later on I could cut a little bit more. Now the time that was here, I did cut that out and I just leave the root ball because I know that's going to come back. And I can choose to move it from this area or I can leave it there. And then I, that's the rosemary I cut on. So as you can see, there's still a lot more there and I still have more over there and in the raised box. And then... I cut the um I cut this one and leave the root ball. I forgot the name of it. I'm sorry guys. My brain, my brain. Help me to remember all this stuff. All right. So I'm going to show you guys what I got to harvest and I'm going to take that inside and get it washed up and stuff. And I I can possibly show you guys how I'm um going to do it. But right now, I'm going to show you what I harvest because the mosquitoes is trying to eat me and I'm out of the spray. The, um, I forgot, off, that's the spray. Yeah, I normally spray it when I come out here, but my can is empty, so I need to get some more of that. Okay, so this is my harvest. Now, don't judge. I didn't feel like going back inside to get a container or anything or basket or anything. So, I just put it on, <laughs> on the bag. That's mint. And I'm going to wash that up and, um, and let that dry. I have a lot of thyme, sage, rosemary, and cilantro. In there, this is the sage. And that's the little bit of green onions that I got. And so I'm going to take this inside. Now I'm not going to dry the green onions. I simply just chop that up and put it in my refrigerator so I can use it while I'm cooking. Um, but everything else I'm going to dry. Now I do have some of this dry already in jars in, in my house, in my kitchen. And I, I currently utilize that. So when I'm on, when the batch is going closer to finish, that's when I dry some more. Now the batch is not close to finish, but I am going to dry this because we're losing um, the warm weather and it's going into the cooler months. And so stuff like this, the ones that are not able to hold up to the temperature, it's basically going to go to waste. So at this point, I don't need anything to go to waste. If I struggle to plant them, they need to be eaten one way or the other if it if it's not by me it's by friends or family or somebody got to utilize it okay so <laughs> i'm gonna take this inside now and get it nicely washed up okay so this is how i do this now i i'm in my basement kitchen so there's a separate kitchen from my upstairs so i can leave this on the counter so what I'm going to do, I have this container here with water. I put a little bit of vinegar. And the reason for that is sometimes bugs hold in between your herbs. And honey, I do not want to dry any bugs within my herbs. Okay? And then in the vinegar water, I just rest this for a minute. Just for a few minutes, and I'm going to do each one of them just like this, just so the vinegar kind of loosen up whatever, if it's dirt or anything, 
it's gonna loosen it up. Put this over here. Now, what I'm gonna do is, in order to dry this, let me just take this off, because I had my basket here, so I'm just wiping it off. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use my kitchen towels, the white part of it, and I'm gonna just spread it here. So as I wash my herbs, Normally, I have a small batch, so I do it upstairs and just bring it down here. But I wanted to show you guys how I do this. So, basically now, I just, now that this has been soaking just for a minute or two in this water, it kind of loosens up anything that is in the leaves. And then I pull out the dead leaves. See, that's a little bug that was on there. See, and that's what happens. When you have herbs or any vegetables, it's good to wash it off really good in vinegar water. And then what I'm gonna do is just run, run it through under the pipe, or you can soak it in another container. I'm just running it under this water again. So, oops. so I can get the vinegar out of it. I don't want it to dry with the vinegar. And then I'm gonna shake it out and just put it on this towel. Now you don't have to worry about like drying it extra dry because the towel is going to absorb all the liquid or the water that from these leaves. And I just leave it out here just like this. The only thing is I'm going to utilize a lot of towels. Now this is my mint. I'm putting the mint in the water. And I'm going to do the same thing for everything. Just put it in the vinegar water. Everybody does theirs differently. And that's okay. Some people just cut it from the garden, hang it up, and let it dry. And that's okay too. Everybody have their own method. I just do mine a little different. is sitting basically on kitchen towels um, and what's gonna happen here it's gonna drain on that towel basically and it's also gonna dry on that towel now what I'm gonna do is put paper towel on the top because then I just want to cover it up 
because it's wet, I don't want any dust or anything to fall and dry with the herbs and I'm crushing it up and putting it in a jar. So I am going to cover the top with a paper towel. I'm not going to use more kitchen towels because the kitchen towels may be a little bit too heavy on the top. See, this is how I have it. Check that out. Now, I don't use this kitchen as often, so I can leave this here for a couple of days. It is going to be here for a couple of days. In fact, it's going to be drying here for like maybe a week. It's going to take about that time for it to actually dry. So, um... What I do is like when I'm drying stuff every day or two, I come down and just check on it. So yeah, let me cover it up now. put the paper towel on the top and this is how it's left for several days I come down a day or two check it make sure it's drying pretty good if I need to maybe like space it out a little bit more so that all of it can dry properly I do stuff like that otherwise it's left like this until it's completely dry and then I put it in a jar crush it put it in crush it in a bowl put it in a jar seal it and I take it to my pantry upstairs. Maybe when I'm ready to do that process, I'm going to video it so you guys can see exactly how I do this, but that is it for now. I'm going to go upstairs and show you the rest of um the green onions that I have up there. Okay guys, so this is the green onion that I left um that I have left over that I brought from outside. And this I'm gonna basically just chopped up and put it in a jar and put it in my refrigerator. So whenever I'm cooking, instead of standing there and just chopping it up, it's already gonna be cut up for me. Now what I do when I cut on green onions, I keep the root of it. So this part of it, I go back outside and I push it back into the, um, into the soil. So this continues to produce for me, whether it's fall, winter, spring, summer, it's, it's always basically out there or I keep it in a pot inside of the house. So I cont continuously get fresh green onions. Now for the, the thyme and the mint and stuff that I'm drying downstairs, um, I do have a jar in my pantry that I have a label and everything, but this is the leftover and my husband do use this a lot. This is mint that I dry and I just put it in a container. Um, but this goes pretty fast because he does use this up a lot. I drink a lot of mint tea too and we put it in like lemonade and stuff like that. All the necessary. Now this is thyme. Let's see. Yeah, this is thyme and this is dry as well. So anything that I have left over, I put it in containers like these. But I do have a jar that I have nicely labeled and stuff like that in my pantry. I put them in mason jars. So, um, yeah, that's how I do it. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys what I normally do with this stuff. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Now, I do see a lot of people that are watching the videos or a fairly amount of people that do watch the videos, but you're not subscribing. So please consider subscribing to the channel. It does really help the channel. And it gives us, the um, people that are creating these videos, more encouragement to do so. So if you do like the videos, please consider subscribing. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this. 
this was a different side of me going outside and showing you exactly what I do because now I'm in my kitchen but I really do hope you enjoy this I hope you get a chance to do something amazing something beautiful and I will catch you all in my next video bye